All right, all packed up, ready to head out through South Dakota. How did I get here? No, it's not me. Spelling my last name in the land of the free. Just because you claim doesn't make it true. This is my skin. This is not for you. All right, I looked online to see where I could stop in South Dakota. It is a very large state, and I'm here in Mitchell for the one and only Corn Palace, which does seem a little <laughs> ridiculous. They build it out of like corn and grain, I guess. Not build it, but like, you know, the outside. They decorate, decorate. But it's really just like an arena, and they hold events there. And I just think that the whole thing is awesome. All right, South Dakota. I uh, was teaching, teaching for a little bit now. I stupidly was running my teaching setup off of the solar panels that I have, but I did leave the van slightly on for the vent fans, which was stupid because now it's dead. And I don't feel like wasting a AAA call on it. So uh, this guy behind me, you can see him kind of back there, is uh, calling a buddy and they're gonna come jump me, which is awesome. for a morning run I'm sweaty I definitely stink but I took some of the water from my jug my five gallon jug down there and tag right there comes down to this little spout Ooh. all right not great it's just not it just keeps falling apart but uh it was like 50 it gives me a temperature gauge it was like I think 50 or 49 degrees the water and it's only about 61 out a little breezy a little breezy in South Dakota so not an optimal way to shower and uh, for the van I think you know the the whole streams and uh, other other things are gonna need to have a little bit more view that's my view so I've got right up here those solar panels they are connected right through the door to these two batteries this is my whole teaching setup and I am set for the day I've got uh, like six hours of student the only odd thing about teaching right now is zoom is not great with my laptop so I need to have ice in my cooler and actually fill this little thing up right here and then lean the phone up against it. Because if I have a zoom on for too long, it overheats my phone. It's a pain in the butt, but it's really not that bad. Plus, I freaked out because I didn't know how much ice to get, and I bought a 20 pound bag, and it's been like four days, and it's still lasting, so not too bad. So, the sun's going down, and I, well, I wanted to do the run, and I'm conflicted to that way or that way. And I don't have a lot of time. What is that? Um, and I just realized that there's animals out here that can eat me. So, we're gonna go this way. Okay. teaching grab a little water right there I'm gonna head up it's 24 hour access they never close down so I asked the lady if I can sleep up there like if they have a policy and she says 
I think people usually do, but it's not that common because they close the bathrooms. And I was just like, oh, you don't understand. Uh, I will definitely poop in the woods. So, ah, that's like the only, the only thing that she was concerned about. <laughs> Sometime 60,000 messages across the line. You said love was infinite.